Greetings, fellow science enthusiasts and anime aficionados. Today I want to share my excitement about a particular anime that has captured my heart and mind, Dr. Stone. For those of you who haven't yet had the pleasure of watching this gem of a show, Dr. Stone is a science fiction anime that takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where all of humanity has been turned to stone for thousands of years. The story follows two high school students, Senku and Taiju, who awaken from their stone prisons and set out to revive human civilization using science. What I love about Dr. Stone is how it seamlessly blends science education with captivating storytelling. From the very first episode, the show teaches viewers about the scientific method, the properties of various elements, and the mechanics of how things work. But it doesn't stop there. As the story progresses, the show dives deeper into topics such as electricity, chemistry, and even genetics, all while keeping the viewer engaged and entertained. One of my favorite examples of this is the sulfuric acid arc in season one. In this arc, Senku and his allies must create a powerful acid in order to dissolve a stone barrier, blocking their path. Through the use of accurate scientific explanations and visual demonstrations, the show teaches viewers the process of creating sulfuric acid from scratch. But it's not just about the science. The arc is also packed with action and suspense, as the characters must fend off enemies while racing against the clock to complete their experiment. Season two of Dr. Stone brings even more scientific depth and complexity to the table. In this season, the characters are tasked with creating a vaccine to cure a mysterious illness that is sweeping through their community. To do so, they must first identify the cause of the illness and then create an antidote using advanced biotechnology. Once again, the show does an amazing job of explaining the science behind the process while keeping the audience invested in the outcome. But it's not just the scientific accuracy that makes Dr. Stone stand out. The show also features a diverse cast of characters with unique personalities and motivations. Senku, the brilliant scientist with a heart of stone, no pun intended, is a fan favorite for his witty one-liners and unwavering dedication to his craft. Taiju, the brawny and optimistic best friend, provides the perfect foil to Senku's analytical approach. And then there are the various allies and enemies they encounter along the way, each with their own quirks and backstories. The animation and soundtrack of Dr. Stone are also top-notch. The art style is clean and crisp, with vibrant colors and intricate attention to detail. The soundtrack, composed by Tatsuya Kato, is a masterful blend of orchestral and electronic elements that perfectly capture the mood and tone of each scene. In conclusion, I can say without hesitation that Dr. Stone is my favorite anime so far. It's a master class in science education, storytelling, and animation that will appeal to anyone with an interest in any of those areas. Whether you're a hardcore science geek or just looking for a fun and engaging anime to watch, I highly recommend giving Dr. Stone a try. I can't wait to see what season three has in store.